Hello, yarn a beast. Hello. I, uh, it seems like it's been forever since I've actually made a tutorial. <laughs> so I may or may not um, flub this up. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm going to show you how I make these little hearts. They're, I made them into a keychain. Uh, and they're two-sided, but there's no stuffing in them. And, but they're, they're puffy. So that's why I called it, um, the no stuff, all puff. Because it's a really puffy, really nice, um, little heart. Okay. So let's get, oops, let's get to it. Okay, what you're going to need is a... 5.5 millimeter hook and a darning needle and a pair of scissors which I have over here <laughs> and the um, I well I'm using Bernat Premium and it's the speckled Kind of yarn in the color red sparkle. Can you see all that sparkle? So pretty. But you can use whatever color you want or whatever yarn or whatever size hook you want. This is a very versatile kind of pattern. So the bigger the hook, the bigger the heart. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, so you're gonna, oh, I'm gonna bring you in just a little bit here. Whoop, wrong way. <laughs> it's been forever since I've used my camera. Excuse my nails, I have to go get my nails done. Oh, okay, so you're going to make yourself a slip knot. Okay. And my bracelet is dangling on a piece of wood here so it's making a lot of noise sorry okay so you're gonna chain up four okay then you're going to do uh, this this chain here counts as your first double crochet so you're going to do 11 more double crochet in this first chain <clears throat> right here right there Okay. Yeah, put my yarn on this side. So that's two. Three. Four. You're gonna go all the way up to twelve and I'll meet you right back. Okay, so I've done my twelve double crochet. Now you're going to slip stitch into that first double crochet that we did. Okay. Now you're not going to chain up. You're going to go to the third double crochet on this side. So that first one that we slip stitched into is going to be your first one, your second one, and your third one. You're going to do seven double crochets into this um, this section here. So that's one. Oops. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six and seven. Okay. Man, that uh, yarn is really bright, eh? <laughs> okay, so you're gonna go seven double crochets, and then in the next stitch, next four stitches, you're gonna do one double crochet. So that's one. And then the next stitch, two, and the next stitch, three, 
And the next stitch is four. Okay. Now you're going to chain up two. This is going to be the bottom of the peak on the bottom of your heart. So you're going to go back into that stitch, that same stitch, and you're going to do another double crochet. Okay. Now you're going to do three more double crochets in the next three stitches. You're going to go one to the next one. Two, next one is three. Okay, now in the next one you're going to do that seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now in the next stitch, you're going to do a slip stitch. spot here. I'm going to slip stitch it there. Okay. Then you're going to tie off. Now make your make your um, your string a little longer. Okay. Pull it through the loop. And tie it off. Okay, and there's your heart. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your tail from the middle and you're going to weave it around whoops, that um, middle uh, what do you call that? <laughs> The middle loop, hole, loop thing. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> okay, so you're going to just pull, oops, pull it so that it uh, tightens that hole up a little bit. take this string, pull it out a little bit here, going to take this string and you're going to go on the, um, the wrong side, this is your right side, this is your wrong side, and you're going to take it and you're going to put it down in between right here. And you're going to take it down to that round, that first round section. And you're going to pull. And that's what's going to give you your loop. Okay, and then you're going to take your yarn and you're going to go around that inside loop. Just weave it in. Weave it in wherever you can. Okay. Okay, now you're going to make two of these. Alright. So once you've made two of them, come back and I will show you what to do next. Okay that off. Okay, and then come back when you've made two. Ok, 
Okay, now that you've made two, this, we're going to have to put these together. Okay, so we'll get our yarn. Oops. Okay, put a slip stitch. A slip stitch. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah. You know what I mean, right? Right. <laughs> Okay, now you're going to put your two wrong sides together. Okay. And then you're going to take your hook and you're going to put it in. It doesn't really matter where you start, but preferably start up at the top and put it through both. Put your yarn back on and pull through both. Whoops. There we go. Then you're going to pull your yarn through. Okay, now you're going to make sure that you've got these in the right sections. So you're going to go in between each double crochet on both of them. Okay. Like that, you're going to pull it through and do a single crochet. Go to the next one, pull it through, pull it through, and do a single crochet. And you're going to do this all the way around. single crochet. But what you're going to do when you get to the bottom, you know, where you did your <coughs> double crochet, chain two, double crochet, that's right here. Okay, you're going to go in there to both of them. You're going to do one single crochet, chain two, single crochet. That keeps your peak. Okay. And you keep going with a single crochet in each. Okay. Trying to make sure that you're in the same double crochet section on both of them, otherwise your your, your uh, heart's going to be all lopsided. Okay, so here we go. Once you get to the top, and you're at your reverse peak, I guess it is, what you're going to do is you're going to go in there and you're going to do a slip stitch. This can be a little fiddly. Oops. Let's try that again. I'm going to do a slip stitch. And you're going to go into the next one right here, and you're going to do another slip stitch. Okay, that will keep your peak low on here. And then you're going to go to your very first double, uh, single crochet, and you're going to slip stitch and tie off. Okay, 
Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your um, darning needle and you're going to take your darning needle right in between where that peak is, or the reverse peak. Okay. You're going to pull. Okay. Then you're going to take it down. Remember that circle right there. You're going to take it down into that circle and go around it. Okay. You can go like halfway if you want. You don't have to go all the way around. Then you're going to stop and what you're going to do is you're going to skip a couple of these stitches and you're going to go back the other way. That will lock that in. Okay. And you can do that a couple of times. You can skip a couple stitches this way and you can go back the other way. Okay, that just locks that right in. And snip it off. Okay, you can just snip that one off too. And there you have it. You've got your heart. Okay. Now you can put a keychain uh, on there, or you can take a, a piece of yarn and pop it through there and make it a, make a hanger if you want to. Um, whatever you want to do. Okay. And that is your puffed heart. No stuffing needed. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you like this easy, quick tutorial. And uh, I will see you guys back on my next tutorial. Okay, bye guys. Thanks. <laughs>